Hello friends, my name is Grace Oladele and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. Okay. You see, this background is fake. Alright, I'll be sharing with you how you can change the background of your video. For adventure, you know, you do not like um, how the background of where you're shooting is. So I'll be sharing with you tips on how to change the background of your video. So the first is the use of AI to create the type of background you want. So, so the first thing, the first thing you do is you go to Leonardo.ai. You click on create account. It will give you it will give you the option of creating account, and then you be able to log in like this. So you see where you have the option to insert to put in what you want. So this is where you put in what we call prompt. Prompt is just um, the description of the image you want. So, like you can see, I pasted the prompt I used for this current image that is showing because I already have an account. And so, the prompt is there. So, I just edited it and add um, just one or two things. And then you tap on generate. You can see generate right there. Okay, so look at what it's giving me so this is similar to what i have before so i don't want this i want it to give me something else so i tap on generate again so that it's going to refresh and give me new new pictures to choose from okay so right now it's loading oh beautiful you can see what it's showing me now look at these beautiful designs background don't worry i will drop the prompt i used uh, at the description box so that if you want to use them and you can tweak the prompt to suit whatever you want okay so now we're going we'll go for the third one the third picture so you tap on it um i'm going to exactly to increase it you see that download button you tap it and you tap download image so now that you are downloading it okay it's asking me should it download again it appears now it's downloaded we open and we have this beautiful background now you go to canva.com create a canva account and after you've created a canva account you follow the following instructions so you download the canva if you do not have it before register with your details and log in so once you log in what you want to do here is to change the dimension of the image you generated using the AI into the size of YouTube. So now you are in. It's loaded. You click on the plus button and then you type in YouTube thumbnail so that it will give us the size of YouTube thumbnail. And then once this is done, it's loading. You choose the first one. Okay. So once it loads, you're going to click on you know those three dots that three dots up there which is add so you tap on it and you choose import files so now you look for the location where your downloaded image is and um you pick the picture from there so once you pick the picture it will load okay you look at my downloads that's it up there so it's loading once it loads Okay, it comes there, it shows you the image, and then you tap on the image and you upload it. So this is what it looks like. So what you're going to do now is to enlarge and make it fit um, the size of YouTube, the dimensions of YouTube, and how you want it to be. So once you are done with the resizing, just be sure you are okay with it, because this is what you're going to use for your video editing. Okay, so after this is done you save your document your image and once it is saved we move on to the next so now after all of this is done you go to CapCut. CapCut is what i use to edit my videos and it is a very good editing video especially for beginners who do not have advanced um, video editing skills so the next thing is for you to download CapCut if you don't have it before so you open it you see my interface now you tap on new project so that we are going to do this together now it's showing videos and photos you go to photos so that you can upload 
yes the image that you have downloaded i want to use so now this is the image so you click on the image and you drag it so that it will get to, to the length which your video will be okay if your video is four minutes five minutes drag it up to that length so once you are done dragging go back to the beginning all right so you go back to the beginning and then you tap on overlay so with overlay you're going to add the video go to video pick or choose the video you want to edit now the video is on top so what you do now is you go to cut out you can see remove background and you wait for the background to remove you click on the done button so now the background is removed you're going to you know um position it how you want so that it will fit in well to the background so once this is done you go back you go back you choose effect there is effect so choose effect video effect and then search for blur so mine we just load because i've used it before so if you have not just search for blur and choose the first one allo blur and you wait for it to affect can you see the change there all right so you once it's affected you click on done and then your video is ready so you drag that blur option you drag it to the end of your video so that, that effect will be added from beginning to the end and ensure that for your video you break it you know you divide it divide it in bits maybe two two minutes one, one minute so that it will not be skipping as a result of the effects that we have added and so this is how you did for this you see because i i didn't drag the original image up to the end where that video will stop so that's why we have black background and now i'm dragging it so that we get to the deadline or to the dead end of the video we are editing so and also the blur option you're going to drag it up to that extent so that we will have everything ready as it should be okay so i hope you got value from this just try out all of the steps and if there is anyone you are having difficulty with do well just drop comments and um, i will answer them as soon as i see them all right so cheers to productive videos ahead so friends this is how you get you know this is how you get the kind of background you want you see that the background that i'm using is it's fake yes so if you like your background keep it as it and if you do not want you know just create the ones that suits what you want all right so thank you friends please don't forget to subscribe yes like this video so that a lot of people will get to see it and see you in the next video